Hi everyone, welcome to KTA training and this is the fourth video tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to enter into Sketcher workbench. For that, first of all, let us go to start, mechanical design and click Sketcher. We will get the dialog box and here you have to enter the name of the part and click OK. Now right now, can you tell me what is the current workbench? Simply move the cursor onto this icon and it will show you the name of the current workbench. Now what is the current workbench? Generator shape design. But actually, uh, I want to enter into sketch it, But it took me into generator shape design. And the reason is, Sketcher is an embedded workbench in each and every part file related workbenches. Now I will show you that. So you can find this toolbar right on the screen. And the name of the toolbar is sketch. And here the first icon is sketch. Okay. Now you can find the same toolbar in each and every part file related workbench. That is you can find the same toolbar in part design workbench wireframe and surface design workbench, generator shape and generator sheet metal. Now right now we are in generator shape design. Now let us go back to mechanical part design. Now can you observe it? So you can find the same toolbar in part design workbench. Now let us go back to wireframe and surface and here it is. And by this, we can say that Sketcher is an embedded workbench in each and every part file related workbenches. Now, how to enter into Sketcher? See, already the icon is active. So, in order to enter into the Sketcher workbench, you have to select a plane or a face or a flat surface from the 3D workspace. But by default, we didn't have a face and a surface, so you can start with the default planes. Now, right now, we are in Sketcher workbench. So, place the cursor on this icon, and it will show you the name of the. Uh, it will show the name of the current workbench, and the current workbench is Sketcher. And beside that icon, you are having one more icon that is Exit Workbench. Now, right now we are in Sketcher. Now, if you want to exit this workbench and if you want to enter into the previous workbench, that is the wireframe, okay, wireframe and surface. Actually, we entered into Sketcher from wireframe and surface. So, if you click exit workbench in Sketcher, it will take you back to the previous workbench. Now let us close this file. I will show you two options for entering into Sketch. First one is you can directly select Sketcher, give the part name, click OK, and see by default the icon is active and it is prompting to select the planner face or a sketch. See, observe this bottom corner, select a plane, the planner face or a sketch. Now you can select this plane to enter into Sketcher because already the icon is active. Now right now we are in Sketch and we selected Sketcher but it's opening wireframe and surface design. But why not uh, part design and generator shape design? And the reason is see it will open a workbench from part file which is used in the previous session. So in the previous session that is before closing this file we are working on wireframe and surface design. So if you select Sketcher it will open wireframe and surface design. Now let us switch to part design workbench. Now what is the current workbench? Part design. Now let us simply close this file. Now select start 
again select sketcher create a new file give the name and click ok now can you guess the workbench if you click ok it will open part design workbench and the reason is see in the previous session we used this part design workbench and in the same manner now let us go to shape generator shape design. now i am going to close the file now what is the last workbench on which we are working in the previous file the workbench name is generator shape design so if you click sketcher from the contextual menu it will take you into generative shape design workbench okay. now this is how the ktia v5 navigation works and you can select a plane to enter into sketch now this is the first method after that and the second method is say i want to enter into sketcher but i don't want to enter into sketcher from the previously used workbench or i want to enter into sketcher from a specific part file related workbench that is say in the previous in the previous session i may used this generator shape design but now i don't want to enter into sketcher workbench through this generator shape design then you can directly select any preferred part file related workbench that is if you want to enter into sketcher through wireframe and surface design first of all simply enter into wireframe and you can activate it manually so you can click on the icon and you can activate it and later on you can switch into sketcher workbench by selecting the plane now this is the second option now one more thing is see so here if you click exit workbench it will take you to wireframe and surface design. and the reason is you came into sketcher from wireframe and surface design. so if you click exit workbench it will take you back into the previous workbench that is wireframe and surface now let us go back to sketcher now i don't want to enter into wireframe and surface design i want to enter into part design workbench so instead of selecting wireframe and surface design you can directly select part design from the contextual view 